I took this guy right here from zero to $16,000 in one single day with his paid community. And he only has 2,000 followers on Instagram. How many exact followers do you have on Instagram? Like 2.2. 2.2 thousand followers on Instagram. How many YouTube subscribers do you have? 3K. 3K on YouTube. A few videos ago, I took a guy with 7K on Instagram to from zero to $20,000 in less than 24 hours with this paid community. I wanted to make it a little bit harder and go all the way down to 2,000 followers on Instagram. And we did just shy of $17,000 in our first a little over 24 hours. And I wanted to make this video and do it with someone with a really low follower count like him because everyone in the whole growth operator space thinks they need a ton of followers and like these million follower creators and these $100,000 creators to be pulling numbers like five, 10, 15, $20,000 per month. So basically what this video is going to be doing is breaking down exactly what went into this community launch, what went into the key factors that were allowed us to be able to do these types of numbers because a lot of people are really confused on how I'm able to pull these numbers and how we're able to pull these numbers with such little followers. So I'm going to be breaking down the key points of what goes into him being a good creator to partner up with, as well as all the systems we use. I'm not going to go too in depth with them and show you guys live like I did in the last challenge video, simply because that's just too much sauce to be putting out on YouTube. But Fredo, why don't you introduce yourself a little bit and explain what you do exactly? So I'm an organic dropshipper. Hopefully Pierre puts my Instagram right there. But yeah, I do organic dropshipping. A lot of people have heard of dropshipping, but organic is kind of like the new trend. Basically, I don't spend any money on ads, no money on marketing. Basically, what I do is I get products, I film TikToks with the products, and I go viral. Then every time I go viral, that traffic comes to my websites, and that's how I make my money. So, very high profit, no money on marketing. Everything I do is just going viral. You probably see my hands on your For You page. I just blow products up. And yeah, a lot of profit. Okay, cool. So the very first thing that you guys need to realize what makes him a good creator partner up with is that the niche he's in, AKA dropshipping, is financially motivated, okay? The strongest pain point for humans is finances. So if someone's gonna invest their money into a program, they're much more likely to do so if there's some type of financial outcome for them or there's some way for them to make that money back plus more. So a lot of you guys are going after what I like to call improvement offers, AKA anything in the fitness industry, anything in the health industry. These are things that are good and can improve you as a person, but there's no financial upside for you. So for someone to put money down, they know that that money is down the drain. Whereas if they're investing into some type of education that's gonna help them make more money, they're much, 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 much more likely to put money into something like that. So that's the very first checkbox. The second most important thing you guys should look for when looking to pair up with the creator is seeing if they have already successfully sold something to their audience. So I've known Fredo for some time, and Fredo, do you wanna get into a little bit about your low ticket Discord and how that's been going and how long you've been doing it and stuff like that yeah so like he said I'm an organic drop shipper and after I made like my first six figures drop shipping and profit I was like damn if I can do this shit because at first I thought drop shipping was a scam so I was like damn if I can really do this shit I'm pretty sure I can teach a lot of other kids in my same position how to do the same thing so I opened like a low ticket discord teaching everything I know um, websites content creation finding products stuff like that and it's sixty seven dollars a month low ticket on discord more of a community um with the course inside and stuff like that but yeah it did pretty good i think we're scaling to around like 6k a month right now about like a couple hundred members yeah i only promote it on my instagram and my youtube like i said i only have 2,000 followers on instagram and 3k on youtube so i think 6k a month for a low ticket discord for my follower account is pretty decent i would say Exactly. That's such a green flag when looking for a creator is if they have already successfully sold something. So despite his low follower count, people really fuck with what he's doing. And these people buy his Discord, they are willing to spend monthly with him. And he's up to almost 6K MRR from his low ticket Discord by itself. So this means that people, when they buy something from this guy right here, the people that have bought something from him in the past, one, they like what they got, and two, they trust him to give money to him. So this is a super, super good indicator that people are much more likely to be invest in a higher ticket option like we launched, which we'll get into in a second. All right, the third main thing that goes into him being a good creator and being super monetizable is that he has a strong community. So he's been posting on YouTube for some time. You guys know I'm a big advocate of people who post on YouTube because their community is a lot stronger. Fredo, do you wanna get into a little bit about your journey on YouTube and the community you've built? Yeah, like I said, I've been posting for a minute. I literally started posting on YouTube like before I even made any money. I was dead broke. I was working at In-N-Out trying to make dropshipping work and that's when I first started my YouTube channel. Basically, I started my channel to document my journey because I knew I was gonna make it. So I was like, let me document this shit. 
So I started off working at In-N-Out. I was filming me like at In-N-Out, then going home and like working on my stores and filming products. And then I just filmed everything. Like I dropped a video like every single week documenting my journey until I eventually like cracked the code that you can say. So I guess my, my followers on YouTube have seen my whole journey from being dead broke to actually really doing this shit and making consistent money with dropshipping. So it like builds a strong community. Like they really know you and they've seen your whole journey. So that it feels like they can do the same thing if they've seen you do it. So I think I have a pretty solid community just from documenting my entire journey. Actually, funny enough, when we were doing appointment setting to book in for the sales calls, one of the biggest things and the most common things we saw when asking the question, why do you think Fredo's the right guy to help you with this problem, is that they saw his whole journey and whole come up and they feel like they can do the same thing. He has a super strong community. Even though it's a smaller community, they really, really rock with him. Again, he has a paid Discord, he's in a good niche, and he has a really strong community. All these things, despite his low follower count, allow him to be super monetizable. He has a bunch of goodwill built up with his audience for some time now, because he's been posting for so long. And you guys know I'm a big advocate of YouTube creators, simply because when someone sits down to watch you for 10, 20, even 30 minutes out of their day, they really, really resonate with you and they really fuck with you and they really feel like they know you. Rather than an Instagram Reels creator, like a TikTok creator, they'll watch your video for three seconds and then swipe onto the next and see some fucking little kid in India get hit by a car. <laughs> After they swipe past your video on TikTok, they're not thinking about you again. It's a lot harder to build a ton of goodwill with your audience on TikTok than YouTube. That's just the honest truth. All right, so now that we got out of the way what makes them a good creator to partner with, let's get into a little bit of our pre-drop systems and what we did to build up to the launch. So the very first thing, this is a universal law that I use for every single creator I work with. The second we decided to start working together, we decided we need to start collecting emails and we need to start collecting phone numbers. One of the most common things you see with make money online creators like him is that people will DM them and ask them like, oh, put me on or like, oh, do you have a mentorship or do you have a coaching program? And before working with me, he was just saying, no, I don't do that. I just have a discord. Yeah. Um, but now once we locked in together, we knew like two weeks or three weeks prior to launch, every single person that DM'd him with some type of inquiry like that, we collected their email and we collected their phone number and we sent them to an application saying, look, we're launching a community or a higher ticket program and, or a mentorship, AKA in a few weeks, if you want to get early access, you can sign up here. What that was, it was a little application form. We just collected their email and their phone number, super simple. On top of that, we collected every single email from everyone who's ever been inside of his Discord. So there's a, there was over like 5,000 people, yeah, right? 5K. Yeah, so there's a little over 5,000 people that have been in his Discord combined from his free one as well as a, his paid one. So thankfully, WAP collected those emails and we had all those emails to send out and run those through a campaign. So really, all we did on launch was send out two different email campaigns. One email campaign to people that signed up for early access and knew what the program was about. And the second email campaign was just a more general email that was sent to every single person that's ever been inside of his Discord, whether they heard of the mentorship or whether they haven't heard of the mentorship. So the emails were a little bit different, but both of them sent them to the exact same landing page, which was a VSL, which I'll pop up right here. So on launch day, pretty much all we did was send those two email campaigns, leading both those people to the VSL. And then we also threw up some story promos and of course some teaser stories a few days before launch saying swipe up with keyword organic. I'll pop it up right here. And then from there, every single person that swiped up again, we just sent them to the VSL landing page. So every single person, whether through his Instagram DMS or through the email campaign, everyone got sent to the landing page with the VSL on it. So once they watched the VSL and they understood the program, who it's for, who it's not for, the pricing, etc., they could click the apply now button and basically that just took them to an application form, which asked them a whole bunch of different questions like how long they've been dropshipping. It was just a qualification process pretty much, how much they have willing to invest into the program, how many views have they got in lifetime, how many products have they tested, just a little bit of qualification because we really wanted to avoid complete beginners because this was a higher ticket option. So through all the email campaigns and all of the story swipe ups, I think we were sitting around 50 applications for the mentorship. And I know that doesn't seem like a lot at all because it's not, but one of the key things when making a VSL for a creator is you have to match their vibe. Like this dude makes vlogs, he fucks around a lot. He's a, just like a normal ass dude, right? So I wasn't gonna have him sit down like this, like fucking Iman Godzi style and say like, oh, this is your last chance to make money. Like you're gonna die, like shit like that. <laughs> like you're in the matrix. I wasn't gonna have him sit down and make a video like that because that's not his vibe and people can see that. So basically all we did was just have him record like a really simple video like this of him walking around on his balcony, nothing too crazy. And on top of that, we also price dropped inside of the VSL. One of the big things about VSL is that you're not supposed to price drop, but for his, we wanted to be super transparent and have the leads super warm and ready to pay as soon as they apply. 
because we knew people were willing to pay the price. So the VSL was super organic, super authentic. Not too much thought was put into it. We just kind of had him be himself. And then the people who watched the whole video and if they still liked what they saw, they would apply. And then those 50 applications were pretty damn warm. Another big thing that went into it is that we only opened 10 spots. We had real scarcity. So a lot of people use fake scarcity saying I only have five spots and they'll let in like 20 people. We genuinely only let in 10 people. So basically it pushed people right away to apply and get it done because most people, when they see an option like that and they know there's no scarcity or urgency for them to buy, they're just going to sit around and wait on it and see if it's good or see if it's not good. And they'll maybe come back in like three months. So you have to create that real scarcity, 10 spots. That's it. Only 10 spots. After that, we're shutting it down. And on top of that, what this is going to allow us to do is next enrollment cycle, because we used real scarcity and not fake scarcity, everyone's going to come and reapply again next cycle when we actually open 10 more spots or 15 spots or whatever it is, because they know that there's 15 spots. That's it. If they want to get in, they have to do it now. And that's going to increase your conversion rate by like fucking 98%. Okay, not 98%, maybe like 70%. So we were sitting on about 50 applications. And from there, I actually did this myself. I didn't even hire an appointment setter. I just texted and called up every single person that was on the list that had a good budget and booked them in with a meeting with my closer. And I'm not going to get too in detail with appointment setting and closing because that's a video for a different time. But that was basically the process. It was a $3,000 product. There was payment plans available. So you could do 1K three months or 1.5K two months, or you could just pay in full. Another big thing that I... I encourage you guys to do if you guys want to get a lot of paid in fulls is to give some type of incentive for people to buy in full so the word will eventually get around that there's payment plans available so everyone will push for a payment plan but if you have some incentive for people to buy in full example like an extra call one-on-one -on -one call or like some extra one-on-one -on -one support from the creator or just get creative with it what are you what does your audience want but if you give them something and incentivize them to pay in full you will they will pay in full so it's pretty fucking simple we funneled everyone from the to the vsl from the vsl they watched it hit the application button and then we just had setter to closer that's pretty much it i did the setting myself and then i had one of my main closers hop on the offer for one day we booked out like two days straight of sales calls we only did two days of sales calls um, first day we only closed like 3k second day we closed like 13k yeah. and um, yeah that's pretty much it like it was honestly a really super simple system one of the key things I like to go by is if you're working with someone who has a smaller audience like him it's gonna be harder to scale a low ticket offer if they don't have a ton of traffic so the smaller the follower count I believe the higher ticket offer it should be just so you can actually get those numbers like 10k like we would have how many people would we, would we have to sell into a low ticket community to get to ten thousand dollars pro like 500 we would have to sell 200 of 50 dollars a month yeah so that would be like virtually impossible with his audience size to get to like 200 members in two days like it's actually impossible so it's a lot better to sell a higher ticket option to less people rather than a low ticket option to a lot of people especially if you don't have a shit ton of traffic coming through your page so yeah that's pretty much it that went into it again i'm not going to go too in depth with all my systems um because i did that in one of my last videos and this was a higher ticket option which i don't think a lot of you guys are in the position to be implementing anyways so yeah i actually do have a free telegram channel if you guys want to join that again it's not i don't sell a course i don't sell a mentorship i literally don't sell anything attached to this content but i do have a free telegram channel where i just send voice notes and drop like in-depth sauce about growth operating i think we have over 1500 people in there right now which is absolutely fucking insane and yeah if you guys want to join that you can follow me on instagram and dm me on instagram and i'll send you the link do not dm me if you do not follow me i don't know why the fuck people dm me if they don't follow me it's just weird yeah and if you guys want to learn something if you guys are interested in organic drop shipping or just fuck with him you can follow him on instagram what's your instagram bsm fredo should yeah. be right here right yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> bsm fredo and yeah that's pretty much it again my instagram will be in the description if you want the telegram just follow me and dm me and i'll send that to you and i appreciate you boys and i'll catch you in the next one